Okay y'all, tonight I'm making a taco lasagna. Sounded interesting. Tuesday, I wanted to do Taco Tuesday, but I hadn't been to town to get like taco shells. I didn't have enough flour tortilla shells, or flour tortillas, I mean. So we are going to try this. So I'm starting out with this pound of lean hamburger meat that I just seasoned up. I also have, I may, I'm gonna see. I have a little bit of hamburger meat here. I don't know if I'm gonna use it yet. It may be too much meat. I'm thinking about it. I had some cooked hamburger meat from the other day that I might add to it. I'll let y'all know in a minute if I do. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and let this cook and then we will, um, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, I'm gonna use actual um, taco seasoning. I usually use the Fiesta brand that comes in the container, but today I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna add that and I'm gonna only add a quarter of a cup of water because that's what the recipe calls for. Oh, and I did drain the meat. It didn't have a lot of um, grease in it, but I wanted to um, make sure it wasn't too... Actually, I'm going to add a little more water. This will be too dry. That just looked like it was just going to be too, too dry. I wasn't going to be able to get this to mix together. So, because this package actually calls for three quarters of a cup of water, but... I did a half. So, I'm gonna mix this up good. Turn it down a little bit. Maybe if you're using a package um, salt or package seasoning, you might wanna go by the amount of water that it calls for. So, what we'll do is we'll let this cook for a few minutes and it will thicken up some. So, I think I have it mixed up really good, so. I will let this kind of warm up for a couple minutes and then I'm going to start layering our lasagna. Okay y'all, I have my oven preheating to 350. Got the meat over there, it's thickened up. And now I have a nine by 13 inch pan. <clears throat> so now we are gonna start doing our layers. So I have some pecani sauce or you can pick whatever kind of salsa you like. The recipe called for a 24 ounce, I believe. Yeah, a 24 ounce, 24 ounce can or jar. That's what I have here. So what we're gonna start out doing is we're going to spread a thin layer on the bottom of this. And you can use the noodle, lasagna noodles that you cook. So if you have lasagna noodles that you need to cook, you'll be cooking those while you're cooking the meat and make sure you drain and all that. I'm using the oven ready noodles, so I love using those. It's much easier. So you wanna make sure too that there's liquids on the bottom, like so. Okay. And then we're gonna put three lasagna noodles along the bottom. What in the world is he doing out there with that girl? Mm -hmm. But he wouldn't dance with his girl. Okay. Now, we're gonna start our layers. So we're gonna do some more, las some more lasagna. We're gonna do some more of this salsa. I'm just gonna kinda spread it out since we need some moisture. We're gonna take some refried beans, which I have here. It did not say anything about warming them up, so we're just taking them straight out of the can, which may not be a good idea. I don't think it said to warm these up. I'm actually gonna warm these up in a bowl because it's gonna be easier to spread if they're warm. Okay, I heated up the beans, so we're gonna put some of those and we'll spread those out in a second. I'm not quite sure. It didn't tell me how much, so I'm just kind of guessing. Put some of the ground beef. And now some sour cream. Okay, and then 
cheese. Sprinkle some cheese. Do three more layers and just repeat. To finish it off, we're gonna put some more salsa on the very top. And you want to, especially if you're using these kind of noodles, you want to make sure that you have enough moisture on the top so that they don't like dry out. We're going to cover it with foil. And we're going to cook it. Let's see. I'll tell you exactly what it says. We're going to cover it and cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Adrian, he's trying to be camouflage. Do you like the food tonight? <laughs> what about you, honey? Mm -hmm. The noodles, I think it should have cooked for probably 10 more minutes. What? My word, Courtney, what you doing? Oh, How do you like it? It's good. Was it good? Even? Yeah. The noodles were a little bit... I don't cool. care. They're not too bad, though. They're mm -hmm. edible. Since I use oven ready noodles, it took a little bit longer. Or should have took a little longer, but it's all right. Bryce is walking across this pond. I'm about to have a heart attack. Hi! <gasps> Y'all, he's... Get away! Hurry up and get out of there! No! Hurry up! Get across and, 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 and walk back around the other way. Okay, y'all, tonight we're gonna be making easy hamburger soup. As you saw in the previous slides with the pictures and stuff, uh, we were having a snowstorm last week here in Texas, which is very unusual. So I was trying to make something quick and easy in between the rolling blackouts that we were having. So I have a pound of hamburger meat that I have in my pot here. I added um, a diced onion. I have some um, salt pepper garlic powder onion powder i put some chili powder some um, italian seasoning and i'm just cooking the meat and stuff first and then we're going to add in the other stuff this is very easy to make it's something that my mom and dad i remember them making it was just kind of throw it together with whatever you have and um, sometimes I would use mixed vegetables or things. I have not made this in years, but as cold as it was, I thought this would be something that I could get together pretty quickly and would keep us good and full and it was something warm. So yeah, so I'm just going to kind of let you see what we're doing and I'll come back on here and let you know what else I'm putting in. Okay, now I had decided I wanted to add in some crushed red peppers. Uh, flakes so I went ahead and did that and as you can see the meat is cooking up really good and I don't even drain it I just leave the little bit of grease that's in there this is actually actually <laughs> extra lean ground beef so the majority of that um, grease that you see is going to cook away and so yep that's what I'm doing okay I added in some carrot not carrot sorry y'all I cannot speak 
I suck sometimes at doing voiceovers. I chopped up, I believe it was three or four, they're not big potatoes, just russet potatoes. I peeled them and diced them up. I added those into um, the meat now that it's done. And then I'm also gonna add in some, uh, a can of beef broth that I had. You'll see me do that in just a minute. Okay, y'all, now I'm gonna start adding in some canned goods. I'm gonna add in a can of whole kernel corn. I'm gonna just put the juice from the corn and all into the soup. Next, I'm going to add in a can of chili. I'm adding in the whole, why do I keep saying whole kernel? <laughs> I'm adding in a whole can of chili. It's the Hormel with no beans. This is something that my mom and dad always did too, and it really gives it good flavor. Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm noticing that I'm not really showing y'all the cans whenever I'm doing this. I think it's because I'm trying to hurry because I never know when the electricity is going to go off. But now I'm adding in a can of pinto beans. I had to, had to look and make sure. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add in a can of Rotel. But what I did was is I put it into one of my small little... A blender that I have and I blended it up so that it would be almost like um, a tomato sauce but you get the good flavor of the Rotel and uh, anyways my my mind is like not thinking straight but anyways during this time we were having rolling blackouts like I said and so whenever we had a pocket of time where the electricity was on we were trying to get things done, trying to make meals, you know, which we were doing quick meals. That's why I didn't post a what's for dinner last week, but I did film this. Um, I just added it to this week's what's for dinner. So now that I have everything in there, I'm just gonna let this simmer and make sure that those potatoes get done. And while that's cooking, I made up a pan of cornbread, which I've shared on my channel before. I don't know if you can tell, but our lights went out. Rolling blackouts, that's what we've been having. But put the lid on, let this finish simmering or stay warm until we're ready to eat it. Okay, y'all, lights are back on. The hamburger soup is done. I went ahead and made cornbread. I've shared this before. Right now it's just Peyton, my niece, and Courtney. Uh, the guys went out, I don't know, looking for hogs or coyotes or something. So, Courtney, how do you like it? Is it good? Oh, we added some sour cream to it. Even Peyton went back and got more. She got a little bit, and now she got more. Soup, they're like a little bit different. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Good for a cold day like it is right now. And the cornbread from open. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. I like the spice in it. Yeah. And it's good, it's good with sour cream. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to get me some more. So this is an easy one, y'all. Should try it. Hey, y'all. I am going to make a... Dorito chicken casserole tonight. It's gonna be amazing. Courtney thinks it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna start out by putting a can of cream of chicken soup in my bowl. And it called for an eight ounce container of whipped cream cheese with chives, but I couldn't find it. So I found this Philadelphia cream cheese uh, and it's called spicy jalapeno. And we're going to put that in there. So as soon as I get this out, I'm going to add in the cream cheese. I've had this setting out since I got home from the store, so hopefully it's uh, it's softened enough. Now what we're going to do is I have my hand mixer and we're going to whisk this together until it is smooth. Mm. I wish y'all could smell this because it smells really good. I can smell like the spiciness of the jalapenos in here. And I think it's gonna be good. So now what we're gonna do 
Okay, now I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. It called for eight ounces of whole kernel corn drained. So I just took the eight ounces out of my can because uh, it was like a 15 ounce, I think, can, and I didn't want to put too much corn. And uh, then we're also going to put in some green onions. I had, it called, the recipe calls for one bunch of green onions chopped up, but it says to reserve a quarter of a cup, because we're going to put those on top of this at the end. So we're going to put those in there, and my bowl might be too small. I hope I can fit everything in this one bowl. We're also going to add in, uh, let me move some trash. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my seasonings real quick. And it calls for a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then it also calls for one teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. Okay, and then to, you can use, like you can make your own chicken and shred it, but it recommended rotisserie chicken. So I went and I got rotisserie chicken and I shredded this up. It calls for three cups of it. So I'm gonna measure out, just in case I have way too much, but I'm gonna measure out about three cups. cup so there's three cups of chicken and look we have some more left for something else the kids were trying to eat it and I wouldn't let them and next we want to add two cups of cheese and I'm gonna use the mild cheddar cheese I believe they use like the Mexican style or taco cheese or something like that and I did I had already bought this and I didn't want to have to buy another package so we'll just use this so I'm going to measure out two cups of cheese. Look at my bowl, y'all. Now I'm going to mix all of this together. And... Uh, yeah. Use a bigger bowl. This is a pretty good size bowl, but... I think if I'd had a bigger bowl, this would be not coming out the sides and stuff, but it's gonna work. I think it's pretty well mixed up. Um, I may have to mix it a little bit more when I get it into the um, casserole dish, but I'm gonna get a nine by 13 casserole dish. Okay. Um, I don't think the recipe said to spray the, the dish, but I'm going to just because I want to drop everything. <laughs> just because I, I don't know, just to be on the safe side. So now we're going to put the mixture in here. And like I said, I may end up mixing it a little bit more in here because I don't know. And y'all, our weather last week, of course, was snow and freezing and we were having blackouts rolling blackouts and everything and now today it's like 70 something degrees outside and sunny we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow but yeah it's crazy anyways now you're going to want to spread this out spread it real good <laughs> bryce really is get the spread on bryce is in he was feeding the cows some alfalfa hay Speaking of cows, last week during the bad weather, we lost two cows, y'all. We lost Moo Moo. I don't know if y'all have heard me talk about Moo Moo, but she, we've had her since she was a baby. We raised her um, on milk and everything. And yeah, she she didn't make it in this, this storm, I guess, this cold. And then one we called floppy ears, or that's what I called it. There was many floppy ears. No, there. there's two that I referred to as oops, as floppy ears, and we there was one. Two. It might have been three. Well, the two I was thinking of. Anyways, it died too. Yeah. Okay. Now, y'all, we are going to get three cups of nacho cheese Doritos. We're gonna crush them up. So I'm gonna start crushing some. 
It might take the whole bag. I don't know, but. I'll let y'all see my mess I'm making. You can see over here I cut up some lettuce and tomatoes for salad. And so. Put my first, this is two cups. I'm just kind of crushing some up a little more. I mean, you don't want them in like little crumbs, but you don't want humongous pieces either, you know. Now I'm just going to crush. I'm just going to kind of forget about that. I'm just going to kind of do it until I get the top covered up. Okay, y'all. Next, we're gonna add some shredded cheese. It said to sh add one cup, but I'm gonna be a rebel, y'all. <laughs> I'm not measuring, I'm just gonna sprinkle <laughs> some cheese on top. What I think is probably a cup. Or what looks like enough cheese for us. We like cheese. And then we'll take the last of these um, green onions and kind of sprinkle them over the top. And I forgot to preheat my oven. My oven needs to be preheated to 400. And we're going to bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is good and melted and everything else will kind of warm. The chicken had gotten to room temperature, I guess, for me shredding it and getting home from the grocery store. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'll see y'all when it's done. Okay, y'all, it's done. Maybe I should have took it out a few minutes earlier because some of my chips look a little, a little dark, but hopefully, hopefully it tastes good. So we're gonna set this down at the table with our salad and we'll let you know what we think. Hey, Bubba, That's hey, Bryce. How do you like the chicken Dorito casserole? Yes. Was it good? Yes. <laughs> Courtney? Yes, queen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> boo. <It's good. laughs> like she it. liked it. She was excited for it. So it tastes like sour cream chicken mm. with Doritos and all that kind of stuff. Adrian, how do you like it? Yes. 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 Good. Okay, honey. How about you? Yay! Oh, two. There we go. <laughs> and y'all, look. I didn't clean my plate. This was good, and it was really not that hard. I to came make. back for seconds, and your battery's about to die. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. See y'all in one second.